The Kraken X61 liquid cooler by NZXT features variable pump speed, two high static pressure 140 mm fans and beautiful user control through the cam software. Click below to get Kraken. Gamers tend to be unflatteringly stereotyped as being pretty messy with a lot of gunk or food clamming up their peripherals. Now obviously this is a gross misrepresentation, but it's not without some basis. Keeping your stuff clean, be it from dust or from food, is pretty difficult at times, so Zalman has proposed a potential solution. This is the K650WP, an otherwise plain looking $30 keyboard, but it has one key feature, waterproofing. So let's see if that waterproofing feature actually holds up and how useful it is at $30. The keyboard's design isn't really that interesting, so we'll hit it quickly. It's a solid plastic frame with very little flex, and its construction is pretty impressive at the price. On top you have media keys and the Z Machine Gaming Gear branding, and on the bottom you have two flip out feet and grills for water to exit. There's a plastic cable which terminates in PS-2 rather than USB, which is a little bit strange, but not too noteworthy since they include an adapter. Otherwise, it's a very plain and frankly uninspired design, especially for gaming gear. Zalman are using switches with a plunger design, which appears to be a linear membrane switch designed to be light and non-clicky. These are some of the better membrane switches I've tried. While I'm not a huge fan of linear switches, they have a pretty good amount of travel distance and are quite light, which is good for gaming. The design also helps keep the switches working well when frequently exposed to water. While they're not as satisfying as mechanical switches to use, no one expected them to be, and frankly, they do the job pretty well. I'll give a quick sound sample of the switches now. Alright, so let's get down to the key feature, the waterproofing. Now there are two things to look at here. The first is if it works as expected, and secondly if it's useful at all. The first one is pretty easy to answer. It works just as expected and it works very well. I could hit it with as much water as I wanted and even use it when fully submerged. It works great and it's good to see that Zalman has executed it properly. Deciding on if it's useful, that's a harder task. There's two angles to look at it from, if it's useful to gamers and if it's useful outside of that. I'm going to be honest, for most gamers, I think it's a bit gimmicky. It's cool to be able to wash your keyboard and to not have to worry about spilling drinks or food on it, but it's not something which I found I cared about. It's definitely going to be a selling point for some people, and I'm sure you already know who you are. At $30, it's really not much more to get this waterproofing over other cheap keyboards. However, I still think, putting aside the messy gamer stereotype, that it just doesn't make sense for gamers for the home. Zalman does mention use in internet cafes, and I do agree with them here. Having an easily cleanable keyboard in a public area makes a lot of sense, and the affordable nature helps sell it as well. For outdoor environments like construction sites, I can see the good build quality and waterproofing along with that cheap price to be a really good sell. I think the only downside though is that that gaming branding is going to stick out like a sore thumb anywhere but in the office. The conclusion for this board is this. If you're looking for a no frills keyboard with waterproofing, the K650WP does it well. However, if waterproofing really isn't your thing, there's probably plenty of other good gaming boards that will sell you much more than this at $30, so you should probably spend your money elsewhere. So thank you for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and comment with any questions or feedback down below. I'm Aiden with Hardware Canucks, make sure to subscribe for more similar content, and we'll see you in the next one.